Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I asked on my Instagram what kind of look you guys are, give me a color to mess around with and the majority of you guys said green and it's fall, so orange and green. I actually don't use green that much and I love the way this look came out. So I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> okay, first things first. I'ma eat your brains and then I'ma start rocking gold teeth and chains. <laughs> Just kidding. Orange corrector. I live by it. Love it. I really like the LA Girl orange corrector because it's not as uh, oily. So it's easier to put on, blend, and um, not worry about it mixing with the foundation and changing the color of it. So for my concealer, I'm actually going to be using Kevin Acon's uh, Sensual Skin Enhancer in SX02. Uh, a little bit goes a long way, so be really careful with this. I like using this when I'm going to put liquid foundation over because then it blends it in easier. If you put it on top of foundation, sometimes it's really, really bright. Like it doesn't blend in the same. So for liquid foundation, I'm going to be using Max Studio Fix Fluid in NC25. Um, really big fan of Studio Fix Fluid. It blends really, really nice and it moves easier on the skin for me too. I've been using this thing for forever. NC25 or NW20 have always been my two colors. So the brush I'm using is uh, the Morphe G4 brush. Um, love this brush. It blends in and the Studio Fix blends in really nicely with the Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer because daddy needs that full coverage. Ooh. So for contour, I'm going to be using this uh, contour palette. It's a cream contour palette from a brand called Measurable Difference. This color right here is really amazing. Um, it blends really, really nice. I like things that are a little bit more drier, and this is this is perfect for my dry skin because it's, it's not too greasy. I always like contouring right here on this on this part of my head because because my five head is real and it's real. So to set my face, I'm going to use the Japanese um, from the Champagne Collection. It is their finishing powder. It's super, super soft and it comes with this really cool brush. So whenever you're going to use a medium coverage to full coverage powder over a foundation that's really, um, that is uh, more creamier. I always suggest that you first use a, a setting powder and then apply your powder foundation. Sometimes I've, I've known people have um, told me before that they'll, they'll use their powder foundation over concealer and then their concealer gets really dark and cakey um, after and it's because they need to set it with the finishing powder first then apply your pressed powder or your full coverage powder foundation. So I'm going to be using Hot Makeup's Touch Me Up pressed powder in shade 10. These powders are mineral based um, and are really, really soft. So bronzing powder, I'm going to use uh, Max Refined Golden. If you have any suggestions for bronzers, let me know because I've been stuck on this one for forever. I haven't really found any. Some are really, really orange on me and I felt this or they're really gray. I really, really like this one. So 
So drop me a comment. Let me know what bronzer you like. For real. So for blush, I'm going to be using Hot Makeup's... Uh, don't mind this package. It's been, it's been through a lot. Um, it's Wanderlust. It's one of my favorite blushes. It's a peach tone. It's good for almost any skin tone. It's bomb. 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 Just a little pop of color. A little pop. Pop. And then for highlight, this is one of my favorite highlights. Um, it's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's so Hollywood. I've... I've gone through these. This is like my third one. And that's saying a lot to go through an actual product all the way through. That's like the highlight. And this brush is from Morphe. It's um, the M500. Really like, I really like these long tapered brushes. They're awesome. Okay, for the lips, um, I'm going to stop saying, um, I'm going to try. Um, I'm going to, oh, I said it again. Oh, well. I'm going to be using Spice Lip Liner from MAC Cosmetics. I love this liner to line my lip, especially when I'm going to use peach tones or nudes. So you got to line it. You got to get royal chola it out first. Okay, next we're going to be using Dose of Colors lipstick in Angelic. As you can tell, I've gone through this bad boy pretty hefty. And then we're going to top it off with lip gloss from Grow Lactic, Just Nude. It has the perfect amount of, of color and it's not sticky at all. It's so creamy. Okay, now for the eyes. Um, I've been uh, obsessing with this palette a little bit. It's the matte, metal, metal matte palette from Kat Von D. I'm going to be using Moss and Watt and Ignite, which are the green colors. Love, love the pigment and the blendability. Is that a word, blendability? I don't know. It's easy to blend. So the first eyeshadow I'm going to use is Moss. And then I'm going to put it on the in, inner and outer corner of the eye. And then I'm going to get a very small tapered, tapered brush. Any kind of small tapered brush to blend it out. And then I'm also going to use that moss and I'm going to put it on the lower lash line. So now I'm going to take the color Watt and I'm going to put it over the lid. And then I'm going to put the color Ignite over Watt. And then that same Ignite, I'm going to put in my inner duct. So Alley Girl just came out with their brow pencils. I usually don't like brow pencils at all, especially the twist up ones, but these are really awesome. They apply 
sometimes uh, with the brow pencils like this, I feel like they just break as soon as you start using them and they crumble up. But this glides on really smooth and it's easy to blend. So this one is uh, Brunette. And it's just real, like it's super easy to use. Brows for dummies 101. And then after you fill in the brows, there's a brush on the other end, which I really like because then you can go in and blend it, especially on the um, insides where you want it to seem a lot more natural. And then to set them, I'm going to be using Brunette from Hot Makeup Professionals Kit and Set Collection, which is a brow lightener and I'm obsessed with it. Okay, for mascara, I'm going. I'm using Smashbox's Indecent Exposure Mascara because it's bomb. So the lashes I'm going to be using are from Blinking Butte or Beauty, Blinking Butte, Boop, Booty, <laughs> and they're Samantha lashes, and um, they're bomb, bomb. Um, I really like mink lashes. Um, once you go mink, you don't go back. Uh, and then, and then I remembered, or I forgot, but I'm gonna say remembered that I'm gonna be putting um, another uh, Makeup Geek uh, eye eyeliner on my waterline, and it's from their Full Spectrum, Full Specter, Full Spectrum Liner Collection, and it's the shade Mint. It's one of my favorites. Favorites. I have a lot of favorites. I say bomb a lot too. I gotta work on that. And um. And this is the final look, honestly, truly. Ugh, I love him. So, first of all, thank you guys so much for watching. And I think I'm gonna do this more. Uh, if there's other looks that you want me to do or suggestions, leave them in the comment box like this. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> and until next time, um, thank you for joining me. Bye. <laughs>